What's up guys, it's Teaching Miss Fashion and this week I'll be teaching you guys how to knot the double forehand. hand. Right? I'm pretty sure you guys seen it on my Instagram, a lot of you guys asked how do you do that knot. And everybody, it's an Italian knot, it's Italian style and what's cool about this knot, I've been using it a lot, is that one, it works with any cut, like collar cut, you know, if you got a wide spread, a point, whatever you got, semi spread, it works, like that knot works with anything because you can just do a normal forehand. hand. I prefer a double forehand because it's a thicker knot. So a double forehand and a cutaway is just a beautiful combination. And if you ever try it, I bet you're gonna love it. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this knot. And the second thing that's beautiful about it, it's like it's not, it's kind of like effortless and it's not so symmetrical as like the half Windsor, you know, that perfect triangle. It's kind of like 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 I said, effortless, and I really like that, you know. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to tie it. Of course, you gotta button your. Sh Okay, so throw your tie around, obviously backwards, you know, the back part of the tie facing out. I'll try to do this as best I can. So I have the left side, the, like, the thinner side on my left hand and the thicker side. This, t this knot looks better with a thicker tie. It's not that it doesn't look better with uh, skinny ties, but in my opinion, it does look better with thicker ties. So I have the thicker side on the... Sorry, on the on my right side. All right, so you're gonna throw the left side over the 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 right side. All right, go around once, and then right here, when you're here, try to avoid making it a triangle. Right, squeeze the tightening. Try to keep it as like narrow as possible, like a tube type of shape, so it really comes out, you know, nice. All right, so you got that's one time. Throw it over again. Always keeping your pointer here, you throw it over because you'll need to like stick your tie through there. You bring it in through the back, then through the pointer where you were holding it with your finger, and then just bring it through. All right. And another thing, it always, almost always, if you get it right, it comes out with a dimple, which also a nice feature to it. And that's basically the double forehand. hand. So you can see it's not that perfect triangle. Sometimes it actually comes out a little better and it's more of like a knot type of thing of a cylinder, cylindrical knot. I mean, I still like this knot. I think it's a beautiful knot. So I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, remember to click the like button and subscribe. I try to put out videos every week.